what is going on guys welcome to an unboxing video today i got a package right here you guys may or may not know what this this is this is pretty much gaming related so i picked up a new controller so i picked up a scuff finally i don't know why all of a sudden i decided to get one um got into really like gbs and call of duty and stuff like that so i'm like hey i might as well avoid the scuff be able to get the jump shot in um all that good stuff so there's a box right here you can see for some reason, they have the main control in the box blue, but I got a black controller, so it's kind of iffy. Um, so, they get a scuff, got the two paddle version edition for the PS4. Um, so, let's get into it. So, I got the scuff right here. Then, for some reason, I've seen these. They had these on sale. Now, these are the Call of Duty Ghost Edition, so these are a little bit old. Um, these are some gaming eyewear glasses to protect your eyes, so like that. Um, I've been getting really, really bad headaches from playing a game for multiple hours on end, so I'm gonna give these a try and see if these help out at all or anything like that. But I'll box those in a second. So we have the Scuff Gaming Controller right here, the Scuff 4PS. Check the box right here. I thought this will have a lot more um, better packaging, um, but I mean, it's it seems it's decent, it's nice, it's nothing too fancy, nothing special, but Got the scuff technology right there inside the box. Um, then you just have the, the actually what it looks like in the back, two paddles. Um, I didn't get like the D-pad grip or anything like that, just the basic plain scuff controller. So let's go ahead and just pop this open real fast. So, I mean, it's it's nice packaging. It did survive the shipping, nothing was damaged. And then pop it open. So we do have some material in there. We do have a scuff. Team Scuff, hashtag Team Scuff, stick right there so you can post that somewhere. I might not use it, I don't know where I put this at right now at the moment. Um, we do have a thank you card by Scuff saying thank you for purchasing that. Um, man, that's, that's pretty nice right there. And then there's like a card, info card about um, some of the, as my voice is squeaking right there, giving out on me, but uh, some Scuff information about that. Um, I didn't get the, the only things I didn't really get or like the EMR electromatic remapping, um, all that kind of stuff in there. So here's the controller. It's just the basic black, basic bare minimum scuff controller you can get. I didn't want to go all fancy out and spend like two hundred fifty dollars on the controller. Get like some custom designs or things. Went for the plain black controller. I mean, I might customize it right now for my. Let me grab my PS4 controller right now. But uh, so my old PS4 controller you see has um, some D brand skipper. Skip, what was I trying to say? But I had some D brand um, skin stickers on that, so I might do this to this controller. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, so it's just the plain black scuff controller. I mean, it has some nice padding just to protect and stuff right there, but uh, let's look at this. So it's just a plain black scuff controller, nothing too special. So the one thing I really like about this, I decided to go with the dome sticks right here. When the PS3 came out, I actually loved the PS3 controller. So I love to have the dome sticks. Um, when I first got my hands on the PS4 controller, I didn't really like the, the feel of it. For some reason, I love the feel of the PS3 controller. The PS4 it still feels a little bit off to me, a little bit odd in my hands. I don't really like where the analog sticks are positioned. I believe like the PS3 hands don't have the best controller ergonomics, I thought. So this has the dome sticks on there. I just feel it's a lot better. The original PS4, they have the concave a little bit and they seem a little too small. And I mean, I got used to it over time, but I pretty much prefer the, the dome stick. So I got that. Um, we do have the scuff logo right there on the controller right there. We do have the scuff logo. Um, nothing too special, the buttons layouts. Um, then on the back, now this work where, where the scuff comes in handy. Now this has the scuff grip also that comes with the new scuff controllers, the scuff grip, and then it comes with the paddles right here, the scuff paddles. Now they do have paddles on both sides. Um, they do have controllers that have four paddles on the back, but it's one hand with the two scuff paddles. Now with this allows you to do, you can map um, X or circle, or you can have a customization of what you'll like. Um, for some reason when I ordered this, I only can have the default configuration. I couldn't change anything like that unless you went with the uh, automatic electromagnetic key to change it by yourself. For some reason, I couldn't change the default of the program it. So um, this paddle right here, which is the left paddle, is X to jump. 
and then this um, right paddle is um, circle to jump. Um, you can change it in game, like in Call of Duty, you can change the, the layout of that, but for this, it's set up for the left paddle is the jump, which is the X button right here, then the right paddle circle to um, either knife or you set up the prone, um, which is the crouch or drop shot right there. So, I mean, the scuff, it looks pretty sick. Um, all the buttons feel good. This touchpad feels good, but at the moment, for some odd reason, the option button, it feels really, really mushy. So I believe this might be a problem. So, I mean, it doesn't really have a really tactile feel as the regular PS4 controller that comes with the system. So that might be a, might be a problem. So I might have to try that out in game and see how easy or hard it is to click. But the share button, I mean, it feels a little bit better than the options button, but I mean, this might be an option because in game you want to switch to class real fast or um, check your sensitivity or the map or anything like that. So that might be a problem right there. So other than that, there's a scuff controller right there. And then we do have these gaming glasses. Now let's go ahead and open this. I'm going to look into these and see if they're actually good or not. Recommend these. These are an older edition. Currently at the moment. For some reason on scuff website they have these for sale for like ten dollars so i was like hey i might as well get them so it comes with a bag right here with the, the ghost icon on there so i mean nothing too special with the ghost label right there i mean ghost is super super old i mean that's at least two three call of duties now old um right before advanced warfare so these are the glasses right here they do have an orange tint. These don't have a yellow tint. For some reason, they went with orange since Ghost. Um, they do have the Ghost icon label right there. It might be, high, might be kind of hard to kind of get it to focus in right there. Um, yeah, I can't get the focus in right there. But it says Call of Duty Ghost right there. Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghost on the side also. If it will focus in. Nope, it doesn't want to focus in. But uh, they do have that on both sides. I mean, it's a decent eyewear, glassware, glasses, whichever you guys want to call it. I mean, it is plastic. Um, I got it at a pretty good price. I know when these first came out, they were at least 60 to $70. So getting these for $10, it's a steal. I'm going to try these out and see if they're, they help um, eye strain or long periods of gaming. They said they're supposed to. Um, on the box they said it's supposed to help out all that kind of stuff right there so on the box it says you can't really see it because my webcam doesn't want to zoom in but um, it's supposed to help contrast gaming lens help you see better aim um, reduce the stress in your eyes stuff like that but uh, hopefully these do some type of justice to me on my eyes help out um, stress my eyes a lot something like that but man here's a boxing of the scuff I'm gonna try this out. I mean, it feels pretty good. It feels a little bit weird. Um, I might have problems with using this, or it might be, take a while to use it because right now I can feel that for some odd reason, if I wanna click the left trigger, I automatically wanna pre put pressure on this finger, and I might accidentally, at the start of this, hit the left trigger, so I might jump on accident or. I feel like if I try to press the left trigger, left trigger stopper, bumper, whatever you guys don't call it, um, my right th right index finger wants to move up. So I kind of sound weird that my brain is not letting me do it at the moment, but if I want to hit the bumper, I feel like it's kind of be hard to hit the left trigger, right trigger, and hit the left or right bumper. So I mean, I might have to get used to it. I'm very excited for this. Some GBs coming with this. Hope you guys stick around for some more content. But hope you guys enjoy the boxing. This is like Tigers. Um, if you guys like this, hit the like button, leave a comment what you say about the scuff control if you have one or if you have any some type of gaming glasses. Other than that, this is like Tigers. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Time. Oh.